Hey, Brady here with Big Orange Roll Offs. Today, I want to show you guys uh, how I maintain the bearings on my roll off trailer here. Um, it's something that goes overlooked, I think, a lot of times, and it's really, really important that you guys check these first off and maintain them properly. I'm not talking about just greasing, uh, I'm talking about checking um, the preload on the bearings. So, let's get into it. So first thing we got to do is pull off this dust cover here. I'm going to use a nice soft hammer so you don't ding yours up like mine already is. And just pop it on the side and pull just a little bit. That should come right off like that. So I'm going to attempt to show you um, the little bit of slop that this has kind of back and forth this way, right? Um, it's going to be a little hard to see on camera and it's not much, but this is something that can absolutely kill your bearings and your hubs and your spindles uh, if it's not something that you're, you're paying attention to. So when I take hold each side of the tire here and move it back and forth, there's a tiny bit of play in there. Now, these hubs... Um, are the factory hubs. I've never done bearings in here. I just keep them greased periodically uh, and check them periodically. And so I checked today, noticed that they all had a little bit of slop. So again, it's just tight time to tighten up um, these castle nuts. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up um, just to where I can see the castle nut right here. Just clean some of this grease off and I'll show you kind of what it looks like and uh, where the you know the keeper pin is. Some of them will have a car pin. Some of them will have a little flap that comes up and holds the nut in place. Um, so I'll get this cleaned up and, and show you where we go from here. So right here is the little flap that goes up and holds this nut in place. Now you can see I can move this nut with my hand and, and we don't want that. And same thing when I move this back and forth, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a little bit of play there. So we're gonna pull this down out of the way of this nut and that'll let us tighten this up. Sometimes you gotta give it a little love. Get it out of the way. There we go. And now there's actually two here. There's one right here and one right here. And you can use either one to um, tighten up in this castle nut, to put up in this castle nut to hold it in place. Um, they give you two just so, you know, you have a little bit of adjustment from where this nut lands when it's tight. So we'll go ahead and loosen this just a little bit. This is a 36 millimeter axle nut socket. So I can loosen this, right? And now we know we've got some play. So I'm gonna turn this just with real easy pressure until it stops. I'm not putting a ton of pressure on it at all, but now I'm gonna go back in here and try this again. And as you can see, that is gone. There's a bunch of debates on this, on how tight to get this, the procedure to do. The way that I like to do it is go until it's tight. I go a little bit more and then I back it off until this, until this flap lines up just like this. And then we push this back up in there. So now when we try to move this back and forth, there's no movement. And just to kind of show you again, I'm pulling on both sides of this tire now. No more noise, 
no more movement. It only takes a tiny little bit. You don't want to get these things too tight or they will eat your bearings. You don't want them too loose either, but they will ruin your bearings. It's kind of like a little, you know, finesse. You got to be right in the middle there. Um, and obviously you still want, you know, the, uh, the tire to move nice and freely. You don't want it to get hung up on anything and you should be good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and throw this, uh, this dust cover back on and we'll move on to the other two. That's it. Check your bearings, guys. Take care of them.